Uh, dear student, in this topic we are going to discuss more on electrostatic energy and energy density. Let's start with a capacitor with a dielectric medium in between that is connected to a voltage source. So, on one side of the, the capacitor plate, the positive charge gets accumulated. So, and on the other side, the negative charge gets accumulated. Let us look on to the voltage. So, voltage is nothing but it is what can to charge the capacitor. And from this expression, the work done is nothing but voltage into D. But in the last two modules, the last, the last uh, uh, third module, we studied that the expression of the relationship between Q and V. So, Q is nothing but V in this C. So, V is nothing but voltage passed across the capacitor plate and C is nothing but capacitance. Capacitance is nothing but constant of this capacitor is called capacitance. Now, after I uh, connecting this voltage source, the charges get accumulated and at one point, the current becomes zero. So, when current becomes zero, it, it indicates that capacitor is fully charged, fully charged. So, at that point, the total charge accumulated on the plate of the capacitor is Q. Then, what then is nothing but W is nothing but integration of V into D. Substitute uh, from this expression V is nothing but Q by C. Substitute V here. So, this expression becomes Q by C into D. So, the capacitor is fully charged from 0 to Q. So, this is equal to 1 by C, 2 pair by C. So, lower limit is 0, upper limit is Q. Now, the work done is Q square by C, C, J. But Q equal to CV. So W becomes half CV. So this is the expression of the energy stored in the Now, consider an elementary cube of side dq. Delta, delta d parallel to to the, the plates of a capacitor. So, the plates of the capacitor, these two plates on one side, it is Q, on the other side, it is minus Q. So, there is an elementary cube in between this capacitor plate. Delta. So now, the capacitance of elemental capacitors W 
very fast in each of them. We already derived the expression. C is nothing but now. C is nothing but extra now, extra now, extra time. Here, so epsilon naught epsilon r is nothing but epsilon. So epsilon. So the area of elementary capacity divided by divided by the d. So here d by the d. So what is the area of the elemental capacity? So this is the elemental. Its side is delta d, delta d. So a d is nothing but delta d square. So epsilon delta d square divided by delta. So delta c is nothing but epsilon delta. Now, what is the energy stored in the elemental capacitor? Energy stored in the elemental capacitor is. We already derived the expression of W. So W is half the G square. Now, the capacitance of the elemental cube is delta C. Just assume that it is delta C. Then delta W becomes half C V square. Here C is delta C. Voltage is delta V square. So half C V square. We know the electrical field intensity and voltage. Its relationship is E is nothing but delta V divided by delta D. So from this expression delta V equal to E into delta D. So this is address number 2 and take this as number 1. Then so we take this as number 2. Now substitute three and one in two. So two becomes so two is delta W half delta C delta V square. So half delta C is epsilon delta D epsilon delta D into delta V square E square into delta D square so when we rearrange the expression the number delta W becomes half epsilon E square into delta D Q so delta D Q is nothing but area it's the area of elemental capacitor. So half epsilon e square into delta d. So delta d q is equal to delta. Then we calculate the energy density. So delta W divided by delta volume is equal to half epsilon C square. The electric field density is D is epsilon E. So we can rearrange this expression again. So energy density is delta W by delta V is half 
Mm. This is a final expression of energy density in a elemental capacitor. 